What's going on YouTube, Jumpman Chris here. We come back at y'all with another vid. What we have it today. Bam, that's right. These are the shadow backboards. Jordan 1 mid top. That's right. You cut the bitch in half and that's what you get. You get a mid top game. All I want to say is first things first. I don't even know why they call these things shadow backboards to be honest. Because shadow backboards, what do we know about shadow backboards? It's the standard of all Jordan 1s. And what I mean by standards, I mean like, look at the leather quality. We guys already know, everyone says, when the Jordan 1 releases, is it shadow backboard quality? Is the leather nice, soft, smooth, buttery? That's how we know what a shadow backboard is. Every Jordan 1, we always gotta compare to the shadow backboard because this is the in all and be all of all leather quality Jordan 1s. These things on the other hand, is definitely not, all right? The quality of these things is just, is okay, but, it's still a dope shoe. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm gonna admit it, man. I really like these things. Uh, I was just gonna cop these things just for like maybe just a resale only. Now they have these on in hand, had them on feet. These things look fantastic on feet. And this is actually pretty de decent alternate. Instead of wearing something like this, it's like worth like, you know, thousands. And one of these is, I got cop these things for like a hundred bucks off of Nike. So these things are pretty straight. Honestly, I think these are dope. If you're able to cop these things, uh, depending on what size you have, they're most likely sitting in your local area. But if you're a size, you know, small sizes from a seven men's all the way to a nine and a half, forget it. It's pretty much gone now because all the damn Chinese people already bought them all up and sent them over to China. Just the way it is. You know, I'm not hating on it, man. That's just, you know, it's the hustle. I get it, you know? But anyways, I was very fortunate to get a restock on Nike uh, app on these things and must say I'm happy. But anyways, let's just go ahead, let's jump into this review real quick. Now let's take a look at the whole entire shoe, 360. Like I said, man, the, basically the premise of this whole entire shoe is basically on new buck. I'm guessing that's how all mids and lows are. It is what it is, because if you guys can see on the whole upper black upper part here, this is all new buck material on through the side panels here. Take a little look at the toe box. You have this little tumbled, it's not soft, it's definitely that, I'm not sure if it's even real leather for real, but yes, yeah, this little tumble leather here onto the toe box, you see that whole preparation. Moving on to the side panels as well, you do have this, like, you know, same mater uh, leather material that's on the toe box, not soft, it's pretty hard, you know, it's not even sure this is le real leather, it's pr probably just leather. And then if you guys can see the Nike swoosh here, is this little patent leather orange Nike swoosh on the side. Moving on to the heel panels as well. You guys can see you get that Air Jordan wing logo on the side panels and the upper of the orange part here, or the material on this orange uh, side panels here is this little new buck material up top and also on the heels. And of course this new buck material onto the ankle collar as well. Moving on to the medial side. Yes, it's basically the same premise of all the materials as well. You get that little patent leather swoosh on this on the sides and the little tumble leather on the side as well. And you have your black flat rope lacing all the way up to this nylon, nylon tongue. It's already laced up. And of course you go to the top of t on the tongue, you have this orange Air Jordan uh, Jumpman on the top of the tongue. Instead of Nike hits, it is Air Jordan. Inside the insole, you do have that Jumpman inside, that orange Jumpman inside the insole, which are black nylon sock liner inside. Of course, you have that white stitched in midsole as well. And on the bottoms, which I really do like, you have this black bottoms, the iconic Air Jordan 1 outsole. So, there you have it, guys. These are the Shadow Backboards Jordan 1 mid tops. Um, I, get, I know why they call it a Shadow Backboards because it's orange, it's black, it kind of mimics the whole Shadow Backboard high tops. But, nah, it, I, I, I guess you want to call it it, but you know, it is what it is. It's still a pretty dope shoe. I can't complain about it. I mean, it's one of those shoes you just want to throw on. It looks pretty decent, especially on feet. I think these things look pretty incredible. Uh, of course, look great with some jeans, skinny jeans I highly recommend. Also in black joggers. These things do fit true to size, so if you guys want to get these things, uh, if you guys are trying to, you know, get your size, Definitely, I would still say it fit true size. Fit just like all Jordan ones, you know? And also, you know, the toe box here will get creased up pretty nicely, so beware of that. These things, I'm not sure when the actual release date of these things. You know, usually lows and mid tops, they kind of just, they just kind of come out. They just kind of re release randomly. You kind of know a, a date around, 
but once uh, retail stores have their shipments, they just throw it on shelves, and that's about it. Uh, by the time you get to the store, they're basically are pretty much already sold out anyway, especially if you're a size, a money size like me, from a size eight to about a nine and a half. Really highly annoying, but these things for retail only for $110 plus a coupon, it's not that bad at all. It, I think this, that's a fantastic price. So, uh, probably gonna spend about $100 on these things after taxes and everything, but I say it's a pretty good alternate. I'm probably most likely gonna wanna keep this thing in my collection, because right now these things do not resell that much at all. People wanna call these things bricks. Slow down, okay, hold on. It is a shadow backboard. They will go up eventually, okay? Just slow down. But as of right now, if you guys do want to cop these things, I say go ahead and cop it right now before the price kind of go up because we do know once holiday season happens and when uh, when these things probably takes a little bit longer to sell out and stuff, these things will go up in price. I promise you that. Especially the mid-top Jordan 1, shadow backboards, all the the Chinese people are gonna take them all back to the country and stuff like that. I'm not gonna have these uh, those small sizes here in our area anytime soon. So I'm just warning you guys right now. Not trying to be racist. It is it is what it is, man. And I hate on it. It is the hustle. Yeah, like I said, I definitely would cop these things right now, especially if you really want really want it while the price is down. And like I said, it's not that much. I think if you, uh, for resale, these things are probably like what 130, 140, something like that. Definitely not that bad. It really isn't that bad at all. These things to be called shadow backboards. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this is just that the whole new buck material throughout is basically the entire shoe The like the main material on the shoe is new buck. I don't know. I don't really feel like I like that You know what I mean, but I would prefer to have it all leather Just like how it on these things are But I get it most lows and mids are have that new buck material especially if it's a different color if it's white they usually throw um uh, tumble leather on it, but if it's any other color, it's gonna be new. Book. And if I'm calling about the height wise between the mid and the lows, it's not that much of a, or a mid and a high, it's not that much of a difference, it's just a little bit. But the main difference on, on the mids, of course, the materials, but the mids, for uh, the mids I noticed, and also lows, they all have the Jumpman hints on them instead of the Nike Air, the Nike, uh, you know, OG Nike, usually have it on all the highs and stuff. These have all jump man on the on the tongue and jump man in the insole which is fine i think it's cool but definitely would have liked to have that nike though but then if you did, did like that they might as well just be high tops right so i get what they're trying to do but like i said the mid tops is definitely a cheaper alternate compared to the real uh og high shadow backboards even if you did get them both for retail just also for uh value worth as well i just say this is one of those shoes you just want to throw on looks like i said just it looks great I, I really i really do think it looks great on feet you guys check you see the on feet and like i said this is, this is a this is a good fall shoe now that we're coming into the fall season you got that orange and that black definitely a good time to throw these things on especially during the fall uh even in winter time but since it is new buck i highly recommend you guys get that water resistant spray from rejuvenator yes and make sure you guys use my discount code at jumper mccris at rejuvenator you get that water resistant uh repellent on works on all new buck and suede as well so ch -ch -ch, works like a charm especially with this new buck here you don't want to get this all warped up and stuff just let y'all know but anyway guys that's the end of the video guys hope you guys enjoyed it let me guys let me know what you guys think about these things did you guys cop these things or not do you guys want them did you even know they even uh released or not what do you guys think these are the shout backboards mid tops uh if you guys don't mind please hit the thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when i do drop big guys all right and also please follow me on my social media at jumping chris on ig Sometimes I'm on Twitter and also on Snapchat. Anyway, guys, I'm Jumpman Chris. Peace.